I was just trying to sing that with uh, John here, and he laughed. <laughs> but that, there's something about, I don't know what, what she's saying or whoever sings that on the coming in. Rafiki. Rafiki. Yep. There's something about that music that touches you at your core. Oh, wait a second. John Sloan III yes, from Metro I, Detroit absolutely. in The Lion King, been traveling with Broadway, doing his thing for a while, back home now. Mm -hmm. Happy to be back home. Happy to have you. Welcome, first of Thank all. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It's, it's great to be home. But what is it about that music that just touches you? You know, it's, um, it's raw and it's guttural, and it's what music is able to yeah. do. It's able to touch us on a, on a really deep and emotional level. Mm -hmm. um, what she's actually singing is basically, here comes the king. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, yeah. you know, here comes the lion and the leopard with the spots, and it's a metaphor for here comes the king and queen. Yeah. Um, and nobody understands that. Nobody knows that oh. unless you speak Zulu, right? Right. Um, right. But it, it touches you in that deep place that art can impact you. Uh -huh. um, and right off the bat, that combined with, uh, I mean, I was just watching it, um, and it gives me goosebumps, and I'm in yeah. the show every night, so. So check out your voice, man. <laughs> you just got a great voice, too. I can't take too much credit for that. That's hereditary, but I, uh, I thank my parents very much. Yeah. Oh, well, well, do your thing. Do your thing. Uh, now, talk about what you do in the show. When people come to the show, where will they see you? Uh, everywhere. Mm -hmm. All over the place. I'm a singer in the ensemble and that I understudy Banzai, who's one of the three hyenas. Mm -hmm. So, um, like during Circle of Life, I, I'm a wildebeest, I'm mm -hmm. grass, I'm a hyena, <laughs> I'm, I'm plants, I'm, I'm all over the place. Yeah. You know, the, the, the staging of this show is one of the most spectacular things I have ever seen yeah. in live theater. It must be something to put all that together. And you've been part of this show for a while. Has it evolved in, with time? Yeah, I mean, I think art is going to evolve. Mm -hmm. um, and the beautiful thing about theater is that it lives and it breathes. And so right. we go out there eight shows a week. Mm -hmm. um, and we travel with around 115 people. We hire in locals in every city. Mm -hmm. And so no one show is the same. Um, and the choreography actually is done by Garth Fagan, who mm -hmm. uh, was a Wayne State grad. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So there's nice. another you know local tie back home. Absolutely, but, man. That's cool. Very cool. Speaking of local ties back home, mm -hmm. let's go back a little bit and talk about sure. your background. Elementary. Uh, when did you start performing? Who did you start performing with? Where did you train um, locally? I think my parents would say I started performing like from right off the bat. Oh, I was, so, when I was so you came out the oven, you're like, down here, out, baby. Like, here we go. Um, no, my, I grew up in Oak Park, so right about like, you know, Greenfield and 8. Uh -huh. And uh, my mom is a music teacher. My auntie's a music teacher. Nice. Um, I come from a family of, of teachers and musicians, mm -hmm. and so that was my background growing up. And we had like music Saturdays, mm -hmm. which I thought everybody had, right? Right, you know, the, right. Praise team comes over to the church yeah. from, to, the, to the house and everybody's yeah. playing all day and, and I'm like, you don't have musical Saturdays at your house? No. Um, and, so, and so it just, I just kind of grew up, you know, around it and it mm -hmm. was, it was deep in me and I didn't really think about even going into this field until I was um, in high school. In which high school? Um, I went to International Academy in Bloomfield Hills for two years, yep. and then I graduated from Farmington High. Very nice. In college, you did locally? University well? of Michigan. Look Go at you, blue. man. All day. Does it get any more Michigan? I don't think so. I don't, <laughs> I don't think, think it, so. I don't think it can. No, I, I refuse to put on scarlet and gray, so I think that's... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's in my there contract. You go. Yeah. All right. So, so talk about what you want people to see when they come downtown. I mean, it's great to have a local presence, but this show unto itself is just spectacular. Oh, when you. you hit the seat in the theater, you gotta kind of buckle up and prepare yourself for a show. Yeah, it's interesting because we get the opportunity to come through the aisles um, mm -hmm. a couple times, mm -hmm. um, and it's not something that other shows really give you the, the opportunity to do. Yeah. And so I get to see the reactions from audience members on their faces, um, and it, it really, really touches you. I mean, everybody's gonna take something different away from it, but yeah. I think it's an archetypal story. Mm -hmm. um, it talks about love and loss, but it also talks about, you know, um, identifying with your parents trying mm -hmm. to step out of their shadow, trying mm -hmm. to live up to this idea of who your father is and who you are. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons why it's been able to have such longevity, because yeah. it connects in a deep place with everybody. And the difference uh, a lot of times is the way it's done. The theater space is different yeah. than where you guys were in 2013 Absolutely. or 08, whenever you were here before. Absolutely. The Opera House is a special place. The Opera House is one of the best uh, live performance venues in the country. Yeah. Um, and I really, really hope uh, Detroiters get to go out and see that show. Yeah. yeah. All right. John Sloan the third check him out make sure you see him in the Lion King Thanks. come back you're gonna have some charity work coming up so we'd love yep. to see you come back home thank you so much I'm starting a nonprofit it's called the helping hands campaign if people just want to go to the website it's helpinghandscampaign.org so right. we're really excited look for him love it man you're doing your thank thing you. and I appreciate giving back you, at the same time what up though love being All right. home, man. there it is yeah. there it is our Lion King of course through the 26th roof over to you